Can the Chicago Bears and Mitch Trubisky finally get a win for the first time in almost two months this weekend against Detroit? Watch this video to find out. What's up guys, I'm back with another Chicago Bears weekly prediction video. This time we got a week 13 matchup against the Detroit Lions back at Soldier Field, back at our own house. And I apologize, this video is going out super late to you guys. It's currently Saturday morning when I'm recording this, but I had a super busy week with school and all with final exams coming up. So this video is going to be super, super short and sweet. Um, it's not going to be very long, very in-depth, but... At this point in the season, I doubt you guys also want to watch like a 20, 25 minute video breaking down these games because unless things change fast, I mean, the season is really spiraling downhill at this point, okay? After five straight losses, like there's not a lot of hope left in the fan base for this season. But, you know, personally, I do have to say again, though, that we're still technically in playoff contention. So even after the terrible five game losing streak that we have had with how we got embarrassed on Sunday Night Football against the Green Bay Packers. Like even after all that, we're still only a game behind the wild card spots uh, behind the Arizona Cardinals. So yeah, we technically could still make the playoffs. Now, would that be best for the franchise long term to, you know, skip out on the top draft pick, skip out on like a chance of Zach Wilson or somebody like that? That's for you guys to debate in the comments down below. But personally, I would never root against a playoff run because I've only seen the Bears in the playoffs like four times in my damn life like ever since I started watching football so I would never root against a possibility because once you do get into the playoffs anything can happen and obviously you can still make big changes even if you do win too many games and make the playoffs because guys like a lot of the top quarterbacks in the league right now they were not even top five or top ten draft picks so yeah it would be nice to have a top draft pick but i would also not be too mad if the bears did win too many games and made the playoffs because if we get the right head coach in here if we get the right gm that's worth way more than just pure draft position could be worth and i really do feel like no matter what as long as we don't make a deep playoff run matt Nagy and ryan pace are likely going to be gone because it seems like the mccaskies are finally pissed at what's happening okay because they expected the championship this year and last and obviously you guys know my feelings about the ownership about our front office, Ted Phillips. Like, I absolutely do hate Ted Phillips. I need him gone um, immediately, but that's I don't know if that's going to happen. Obviously, ownership is not going to change, so we're probably stuck with the McCaskies for a long time. But whatever the case is, man, I'm looking at things from a glass half-full mentality. So if we do win a lot of the games during this last stretch, great. We have a chance at the playoffs. But if we don't, we have a good draft pick. So it's a win-win situation in my eyes but putting all that aside let's talk about this matchup now between us and the detroit lions and guys the detroit lions are a complete dumpster fire of an organization right now okay if you think the bears are bad like the lions i guarantee you are at least 10 times worse like they've always been throughout their history okay they have nothing going for them on both sides of the football their offense has been below average this year their defense as usual has been horrifically bad they fired both head coach and gm so both uh, matt patricia and bob quinn last week after the blowout loss with the Texans, the Texans, okay, a pretty bad football team. They got blown out to the Texans on Thanksgiving. So they cleaned house pretty much during the middle of the season, which is never a good thing because that's when you know you have hit absolute rock bottom. So the Lions are not a good franchise at all right now. They have a ton of injuries. I think uh, Okuda is out. Galladay is out. Deshaun Hand is out for this game. Danny Shelton and Desmond Trufant were both placed on injured reserve as well. So Guys, this Lions team is missing like so many players on both sides of the football. They just do not have a lot of talent right now. And their best contributors on both offense and defense are all out. Okay, we're not going to face Kenny Galladay again. We're not going to face our top two cornerbacks, Desmond Trufant and Jeff Okuda, which their secondary already sucks. So Mitch Trubisky and the Chicago Bears are going to be going up against like a third string Detroit team that already sucked to begin with. There is absolutely no reason why the Bears should lose this game but since it is the chicago bears since we are spiraling downwards this year anything can happen in this matchup if you look at the stats for the lions defense they're terrible all across the board they're number 31 in points allowed they allow 29.8 points per game they're number 29 in yards allowed per game they allow 396 yards per game and pretty much why this lions defense is so bad is that first of all the play calling was horrifically bad so matt patricia the play caller i mean he's going to be gone now um i don't know who's actually calling plays right now for defense but i do know daryl bevel is the head coach right now so whoever is calling plays man i mean they're gonna have a struggle because this lions team just does not have enough talent on it on the defensive side of the football okay there's absolutely no pass rush at all there's no 
guys in the secondary that can actually cover at an elite rate actually i take that back okay safety duran Harmon. he's probably the only guy that can actually cover on this line secondary but besides Harmon, like there's really no other guys in the secondary that i even think of as even being average okay they're all terrible all across the board so the lions defense has scared nobody this year they also have a terrible run defense as well so you can run all over them too especially on the interior with danny shelton and deshaun hand both being gone so terrible pass rush terrible secondary maybe mediocre linebackers sometimes i mean it's a bad defense all across the board there's no reason why any nfl team should not be able to put at least 25 points against this pathetic lions defense but we are the Chicago Bears, okay? We have one of the worst offenses of all time. So anything is possible when you are facing the Chicago Bears offense. If you look at the Lions offense, then their offense also has not been that great, guys, even with all the talent they had on offense, okay? I saw Lions fans all offseason talking about how they could potentially have a top 10 offense, okay? They have two superstar receivers, supposedly Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones. They had a top quarterback in Matt Stafford. They had some talented running backs as well. They thought the O-line was going to be a little bit better, but man, things have not looked good on the offense either. If I read the stats on offense, they're number 22 in points per game. They average 22.9 points per game. They're number 20 in yards per game. They average 347 yards per game. So they're pretty mediocre, pretty below average um, in both yards and points. And really the main reason why this Lions offense has struggled so much is that they're so one-dimensional this year, like they always have been under Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford throws the ball way too many times every single game. They do not have a solid run game on this team. The Lions are 26th in the NFL in rushing attempts per game. They're 27th in rushing yards per game. So they really cannot establish any sort of run game this year because they get behind so early, okay? When you're down like 10 plus points really early in the games, you cannot run the football as much as you want to. The trio that they have of Adrian Peterson, Kerryon Johnson, and DeAndre Swift, they have not been able to do that much this year or show off their talents because they just simply do not get enough carries so not any sort of a run game on this team but the passing offense also has struggled recently okay they're only 14th in total passing yards which is not good enough for a team that has Matt Stafford that has so many threats all across this offense okay TJ Hawkinson their tight end leads their team in total receiving yards think about that guys a tight end has more receiving yards on this offense than Kenny Galladay than Marvin Jones two supposedly elite receivers in this league and obviously i still think they're great players but there just simply has not been any sort of continuity on this lions offense there's been a lot of injuries there's been a lot of other struggles a lot of turmoil on this offense so i'm not totally going to blame the talent on this offense because i do think they have a lot of talent but matt stafford the receivers the other guys are not truly living up to expectations this year talking about the chicago bears now let me start by talking about the defense and man the only good thing that we had on this team the defense it looked terrible last game against the green bay packers it seemed like everybody gave up um that game now i don't know if they actually did give up or maybe it was just a bad game but whatever the case was they looked horrible last game so hopefully they do rebound in this game but if you look at them over the course of the season they have been elite for the most part okay if you look at their uh, stats they're number eight in points allowed per game they allow 22.7 points per game they're number 13 in yards allowed per game they only allow 344 yards per game and the Bears defense has a crazy amount of talent on it in both the secondary and in the front seven but I really do feel like Chuck Pagano is not getting the most out of the talent that we do have okay his play calling has been very questionable throughout the course of this year he refuses to send any pressure refuses to ever blitz which is probably because he's scared of allowing a big touchdown allowing a big play but we've been allowing those plays now anyways okay the last game against the Packers we did not blitz and look what happened so I do think that Chuck Pagano needs to send more pressure needs to dial up these blitzes because you know putting our best guys like Mack and Quinn in coverage that's not the best use of their talent so the Bears defense is still pretty good but we're not as dominant as we were in 2018 okay we're not getting the same sack numbers the same turnovers the same you know big plays that we did two years ago so yeah we're still a great defense overall but we're not scaring people like we did a couple seasons ago so that's my take on the Bears defense if you look at the Bears offense then there's not a lot of Things I can say about the Bears offense that I have not said on this channel already. It's a terrible offense all across the board. Bottom five in practically every single offensive category. But I do have to say that we did look a lot better with Mitch Trubisky than with Nick Foles. Okay, maybe not a lot better, but we were at least moving the ball down the field effectively at certain points in that game. The turnovers he threw, though, completely ruined any momentum our offense actually had. Okay, both of them were terrible balls that Mitch absolutely should not have thrown. So he still makes a ton of bad decisions even in year four so 
I mean, Mitch is by no means a great quarterback in this league, but he is at least a little bit better for our offense than Nick Foles was this year. And finally, let me get to my score prediction for this game. Who do I have winning this matchup? And I'm going to keep it short and simple. I have the Bears winning this one by a score of 24 to 22. So barely winning against the Lions at Soldier Field to snap their five game losing streak and to win for the first time in almost two months. And to be honest, I really wanted to pick the Lions to win this one because I just do not have a lot of faith in the Bears right now to win these games. It seemed like they completely gave up against the Green Bay Packers um, on Sunday Night Football. So we could most definitely still lose this game. But I have us winning this one because I just do not see how the Lions are going to be competitive the rest of the year. Okay, they have their top guys all being out. They have no talent in the secondary. Their offense, you know, Kenny Galladay is not going to be there. And they're falling apart themselves. And looking at how Mitch Trubisky has dominated this team, the Bears should definitely win this game. But again, I do have to say that anything is possible with how bad the Bears have looked as of late. And if Matt Nagy actually manages to lose this game, like he should not be allowed to even come back to Chicago. We should honestly fire him on the spot because you cannot lose to the Lions in this state. Okay, the Lions missing their top guys with how the season has gone. You cannot afford to lose to the Lions. My offensive MVP for this game is going to be quarterback Mitch Trubisky. I think that's the safest pick I can make at this point in time with how great he has looked against the Lions in the past. And also looking at how, you know, the Lions are missing their top two guys in the secondary. Okay, both Okuda and um, Desmond Trufant. They're not going to be there and they have no pass rush either. So Mitch Trubisky, like the conditions are going to be perfect for him to go off in this game. Now, I don't think he's going to completely go off because our offense does not look great at all this year. We don't have um, really a lot of things working for us on offense, but he should have at least a decent day against this terrible Lions defense. So Mitch Trubisky for offensive MVP, for defensive MVP, I have that being Akeem Hicks. I think in his return, he should have a decent day and also just looking at how the Bears really missed him against the Green Bay Packers I think just putting him back in the lineup that's a big boost to our entire defense okay on the interior he does a lot of things for us that people usually do not notice and I think in this game especially against the Detroit Lions we are going to notice those things so that's pretty much going to wrap up my video let me know what you guys think about this all in the comments down below do you think the Bears can win this game do you think the Bears season is already over do you think we can make a playoff run still like let me know in the comments down below and again, I do apologize, this video is super short and kind of rushed as well, but I'm getting this out to you guys like super, super late. So I'll do a better job next week, but let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, bear down. <music>